here and today I wanted to show you so far for the recipes for the soul and it's a 12 day actually it turned into a 30 day devotion challenge for fireable journaling there is also one for junk journaling that is coming up on the 20th and it is it is recipes uh, of friendship and this one is uh, Recipes for the Soul. It has some cookies for the soul and, and uh, some daily um, devotions as well. I went to day 12 and then day 13 starts off with the Women of the Bible. And this is part of the Women of the Bible series for July. And I thought this was super cute because, um, you know, it's a pre-made little um, journal that I got at Walmart. And then I just designed the kit to... Um, kind of altered this little but in today's activity because there were several activities here's a little mason jar shaker that if you remember if, if you see my videos um, there is a playlist as well so all that information is located in the East Coast Bible journaling Facebook group it is also located on that's just penny printable blogspot.com. It's actually that's just penny printables.blogspot.com. It also can be found in my Facebook groups, and all of the links will be down below the video in the description box. Okay? Please give this video a thumbs up. Please, please. Okay. Thank you very much <laughs> if you like the video. Um, but here are the second activity. So we're excited. Um, it says altered paper clips. And if you notice, I've got some really altered paper clips. Now, I don't like my paper clips to weeble wobble. So there's a way that I do it. And I'm going to show you how um, for this activity. You can put these in your journals, your Bibles, um, just anywhere that um, you may want to add a bookmark or a paper clip. So I've got some ribbon here. And I've got some already made. Look at these. I'm going to use them in my Bible, but I thought these colors was actually what I was going for um, with the recipe journal. I know there's pink and stuff on there, too. And I could absolutely add, you know, a red one with some, but I, those colors are the are what I thought went pretty well um, with this. You can also do some pink. That looks pretty, too, because the little lady has... Now, if you're wondering about the printables for the kit, you can find that link in the East Coast Bible Journaling group, and also um, you can also find it um, uh, later on in, on my blog as well. So I've got some different types of ribbons. These were gifted to me by Diane. Thank you, dear. And some of this was stuff I had, and then some material was given. I can't remember who um, sent some stuff in for the ministry. So yeah. Okay, so if you want to find out about the Junk Journal Ministry, it's descriptions down below. Here is um, some of this ribbon. This was got, I think it's got some sort of backing on it. And sometimes you can get ribbon, especially during the holidays. It's kind of a little bit stiffer. Um, but I think this is some type of textile, like for curtains. It's maybe like an iron-on type thing or a waterproof type. Um, I'm not really for sure, but I'm going to crinkle this up. And I'm going to make a loop. I'm going to put the two ends together down here. And I'm going to make a loop. And then pick up my paper clip. And if you notice, I've got the two little legs at the bottom. I don't know what to call them. I'm going to put it behind the paper clip. See? The loop is behind the paper clip like that. Okay? Then I'm going to take my two ends. And I'm going to hold this. And I'm going to put the two ends above the loop through the paper clip and that makes I'm gonna pull real tight and that makes it where that if it sticks on you know some of them you know how you used to have it and they would just weeble wobble all over the place and then I'd have to straighten them and all that and it just kind of got aggravating in my Bible so <laughs> I was always adjusting the paper clips so this way um, they're not gonna go anywhere they're not gonna weeble wobble and I, of course if you have real chunky um, ribbons and a lot of layers like I did it's going to take up the room on the paper clip but that's okay because you can just kind of squish it and get it up there 